just a bunch of scrap. welcome back to the channel so you guys know that I like Christmas ornaments and all of these are off cuts from previous Christmas ornaments that I've made I just uh, thought maybe I'd glue them up all together and we will turn a Christmas ornament out of this and we'll just call it the scrap ornament so let's see what we can come up with Okay, there we have it. One ball element for a Christmas ornament. Kind of went flying there. Um, it looks like I did not drill my hole far enough through. So uh, when I was trying to sand it, it put enough pressure on it that it popped off of there. I'm going to need to uh, figure out how to get that fixed up so I can put my finial uh, tenon in this. Uh, so that'll be fun. But yeah, there's the ball. Now we just need to get a couple finials made for it. Probably going to use some um, Purple Heart since it's got that Purple Heart stripe in the middle of it. And then we'll go from there. So let's uh, find some Purple Heart, make a couple finials, see what we can do with this.
All right, guys, there we have it. The scrap ornament. A couple purple heart finials to go with the purple heart stripe in the middle. I believe that the scraps that I used for the rest of the ball are basswood. Um, they were just some stuff that I bought uh, at Hobby Lobby in a little pack of carving blanks, and that was some leftover stuff from making some other things out of them. Glued it all together to make that ball element out of, so basswood and uh, purple heart for the stripe, and then a couple purple heart finials. You know, purple heart's kind of interesting. It never really comes out uh, the exact purple that you think it's going to. I was hoping they would be a closer match, but it's got a little more brown tint to it, but, you know, that might change over time anyway. I'm pretty happy with the way this one came out. Trying to get a little different finial shape than I felt like, again, I was getting in a little bit of a rut with my finials. So trying to do something a little bit uh, more like icicle shaped. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. So we'll add this one to the Christmas ornament collection. And um, I'm not sure who's going to get this one this Christmas, but we'll see what happens. Um, one other thing that I wanted to talk about is you guys probably saw me using my brand new Robert Sorby parting tool um this thing i just got a few weeks back and i've only used it a few times and i know some of you are gonna say hey man you're using that upside down um that is not the case this is actually a fluted parting tool so it may not show up real well but that surface here is actually fluted so this is your cutting surface and then the short side is the side that you sharpen it on so you come at the wood this way, not this way, because your flutes are here. So, And I will say, this thing, um, I was looking for a thin parting tool. And I know some of you make your own, and that's really cool. Um, I just didn't have the time to do that. And then I saw this thing, and it is 1 16th thick. Um, so for a thin parting tool, it worked perfect. And I kind of thought, man, fluted, that might be really cool. This thing will mow through some wood. I'm telling you, it gets after it. So if you guys are looking for, I'm not endorsed by Robert Sorby. They didn't give me this. I spent my own money on this. Um, you know, I don't, I've only bought a few tools from grandpa's old stuff. And uh, this is one of them. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, it's not cheap, but it's really super cool. And I'm very happy with this thing. It is a pretty serious parting tool. It will part some stuff, let me tell you. Um, so that's the deal on the new Robert Sorby parting tool. No, I'm not using it upside down. I know those comments are going to start showing up pretty soon. Um, that is the way you use it. I did read the directions. I even watched a YouTube video from Robert Sorby themselves. Um, so I'm, I know I'm using it right. Um, so anyway, if you guys liked this one, um, be sure to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. Share this video with all your friends and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.